What is Ramadan? 2023 Muslim and Non-Muslims Guide for Reasons Why Ramadan is a Point of Change What is Ramadan? 2023 Muslim and Non-Muslims Guide Ramadan is considered one of the holiest months of the year for Muslims. It is the ninth month of the Islamic lunar year calendar. In Ramadan, Muslims commemorate the revelation of the Quran and fast from food and drink during the sunlit hours as a means of drawing closer to God and cultivating self-control and gratitude. Here we will learn the following. What do Muslims do during Ramadan? Why do Muslims fast during Ramadan? How to fast in Ramadan as a Muslim? What do Muslims eat during Ramadan? Can Muslims drink water during Ramadan? Why do Muslims celebrate Ramadan? Can Muslims listen to music during Ramadan? Can Muslims have sex during Ramadan? Can you participate in Ramadan if you're not Muslim? Do Muslims work during Ramadan? How to greet Muslim during Ramadan? Can Muslims travel during Ramadan? Is fasting Ramadan obligatory? What do Muslims do during Ramadan? Muslims perform fasting, abstaining from eating, drinking and having sexual relations during daylight hours, from dawn to dusk, as a religious obligation. Why do Muslims fast during Ramadan? Muslims fast for the following. 1. Fasting is a mean of worship, the main reason. Fasting is more than just abstinence, it is a mean of worship that helps Muslims feel a closer and deeper connection with Allah. Fasting allows each individual to understand what it means to go without and to learn patience with oneself and those around them, as well as compassion for those less fortunate. 2. Fasting cultivates piety. Also, fasting cultivates self-discipline as well as piety and God-consciousness. While fasting may seem like doing nothing, restricting ourselves willingly is an intentional conscious act that constantly requires willpower. And what fuels that during fasting is remembering that fasting is for Allah, we are doing this for Him and thus we keep Him in heart nearly all day long. When Allah Almighty sets the reason for prescribing fasting in Ramadan, he says. 183. O oh, you who have believed, decreed upon you as fasting as it was decreed upon those before you that you may become righteous. Quran, 2 183. O oh, you who have faith in Allah and follow his prophet, Allah has ordered you to fast, as he ordered those before you, so that you may become mindful of Allah. Protecting yourself from his punishment by doing good actions, fasting being one of the best of these. Al Baqarah, 183. 3. Fasting is to free enslavement to desires. Human beings freely enjoy food and drinks and respond to all the physical needs of their bodies throughout the 11 months of the year. This one month of Ramadan is a chance to free one's enslavement to physical desires and instead feed and elevate their inner being by connecting it with its creator through his words. 4. Understand pain and suffering. The act of fasting allows the individual to understand the pain and suffering of millions around the world who live their lives in poverty and famine leaving the participant feeling more grounded and grateful for all that Allah has given them. 5. Fasting increases productivity. Moreover, fasting also opens up doors for doing more, while it frees up time we are left to figure out how can we productively use that time. And while temporarily abstaining from things that are okay like eating, this gives us the courage and will to then leave any bad habit that we are struggling with and think we can't do without. After all, we were able to leave eating and drinking. 6. Fasting teaches being grateful and thankful. Through fasting, one gets to be thankful for that which he she has been given unconditionally by the Creator, which sometimes people take for granted. In essence, being grateful and thankful helps one come closer to Allah, Ashakur, the appreciative. He appreciates even the smallest acts of the goodness of his creatures even though he is, al the free of any need. But, the focus during fasting in Ramadan is essentially on the soul. How to fast in Ramadan as a Muslim Muslims are obligated to fast every day from dawn to sunset, or from dawn to dusk. Fasting is an obligatory act of worship which is abstinence from food, drink and sexual activity with one's spouse during the day, but that's the minimal amount of fasting. Actually the Messenger, peace be upon him, and Muslim scholars following his footsteps have explained that fasting is not the daytime worship only but all day and night commitment to please the Lord. With what he likes. Fasting is preventing oneself from engaging in any behavior that displeases God. Simply, it's a boot camp for good behavior to please all of day and night for 30 days.
Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. The Prophet, said, if one does not eschew lies and false conduct, Allah has no need that he should abstain from his food and his drink. Al-Bukhari What do Muslims eat during Ramadan? It is recommended that before the break of dawn, Muslims eat a pre-fast meal known as shur. This meal often resembles breakfast, but in some cultures it may include more dinner-like foods. After sundown, Muslims break their fast with iftar, a meal which usually starts with dates and water or milk, followed by dinner. Muslims are permitted to snack at night between those two meals, and hydration is encouraged, especially when Ramadan falls during summer. For sure, iftar and snacks, Muslims can more easily make it to sundown by eating high-fiber meals to sustain satiety over longer periods, fruits and vegetables to maintain electrolyte stores, and plenty of fluids to maintain hydration. Can Muslims drink water during Ramadan? No, fasting during Ramadan means abstinence from all food or drink, including water and chewing gum, from dawn to sunset. Why do Muslims celebrate Ramadan? Ramadan is a month of intense spiritual rejuvenation with a heightened focus on devotion, during which Muslims spend extra time reading the Quran and performing special prayers. Can Muslims listen to music song during Ramadan? Listening to music is not allowed whether in Ramadan or any other month. Instead, Ramadan is a holy month that Muslims are waiting every year to make every minute in worshipping Almighty God and charge the battery of Iman, the inner faith, and increase the spiritual power that every Muslim needs for continuing the holy year till the next Ramadan. Can Muslims have sex during Ramadan? Fasting Ramadan is only from the dawn time to sunset time, so during this time eating, drinking and having sexual intercourse is prohibited. After sunset it is allowed to have an intercourse until the dawn time of the next day. Can you participate in Ramadan if you're not Muslim? Fasting Ramadan is the third pillar of Islam. Anyone who wants to learn about Islam can practice this act of worship as only a new experience, not an act of worshipping Almighty God. Do Muslims work during Ramadan? Of course, there are many great battles that had occurred in Ramadan. Practicing work during Ramadan is a good thing, if it is not good. The companions of the Prophet Muhammad wouldn't strove for the cause of Allah during great battles such as Badr battle which occurred in Ramadan. How to greet Muslim during Ramadan Muslims increase the good deeds in Ramadan such as preparing meals for the poor people, lighting up the streets and spreading the joy and happiness to all kinships, neighbors and people around in their communities. Can Muslims travel during Ramadan? Yes, however they have the permission to practice fasting that day at another time. What is the importance of Ramadan in Islam? Ramadan is the holiest month in the Islamic year because the Holy Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad during this holy month. The month of Ramadan is that in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for the people and clear proofs of guidance and criterion. So whoever cites, the new moon of, the month, 55, let him fast it, and whoever is ill or on a journey, then an equal number of other days. God intends for you ease, and does not intend for you hardship, and, wants, for you to complete the period and to glorify God for that, to, which he has guided you. And perhaps you will be grateful. Quran, 2 185 The Quran was first revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on the night of decree in the month of Ramadan. Allah revealed it as a guidance for people, with clear proofs of its guidance, and the criterion between the truth and falsehood. Whoever reaches the month of Ramadan, and is well and healthy, is required to fast, and whoever is ill, or for whom fasting is difficult, or is traveling, then they may break their fast. If they do not fast then they must perform make-up fasts for the days they missed at another time. Allah intends ease, and not hardship, in what He decrees for you, and wants you to complete the right number of days and to glorify Him upon the completion of Ramadan, on the day of Eid, as He helped you and made it possible for you to fast, so that you thank Allah for guiding you to this religion which He has approved for you. Al-Baqarah 185 Also, fasting Ramadan is one of the pillars of Islam. What is the purpose of fasting in general and Ramadan in particular? Fasting Ramadan has many purposes, of which are the following ones. To submit to Allah who sets this rule. To gain righteousness, taqwa. To learn patience and endurance. To lean self-control. To help Muslim to feel the pain of the poor and subsequently have it in his heart to be merciful, compassionate and givers. Is it only days of Ramadan that are special or Ramadan nights as well? 
Nights of Ramadan are as special as its days, as Muslims are recommended to exert their utmost efforts to please their Lord with all sorts and kinds of worship acts and with prayers in particular. Rewards for all acts of worship and good deeds are multiplied. Muhammad, peace be upon him, set an example by praying extra prayers and striving even more during the last ten days and nights hoping to gain the rewards of the night of the decree during which the revelation of Quran commenced. Why is Ramadan so special? That's huge. Ramadan is very special in Islam and for Muslims for a lot of reasons. Quran revelation started on one of the nights of the last ten days of Ramadan. It was during the year 610 AD. The night of the decree or the night of Roar which is a blessed night when God emancipates Muslims from entering hellfire, gives blessing and alters decrees if he wills. Fasting of Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam. All good deeds rewards are multiplied, as well as sins, for all bad deeds. For fasting Ramadan sincerely, out of faith and in the hope of reward, a Muslim will be forgiven all his previous sins, provided the major sins are not committed. There are several hadiths that give glad tidings to Muslims of forgiveness, emancipation from hellfire and great rewards for those who do well and are sincere. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who observes fasting during the month of Ramadan with faith while seeking its reward from Allah will have his past sins forgiven. Al-Bukhari and Muslim Is fasting Ramadan obligatory? Fasting of Ramadan is an obligation for every adult, sane and capable Muslim. It's one of the five pillars of Islam. It is abstinence from food, drink, and sexual activity with one's spouse during the day. Fasting is not a day of worship as taught by Muhammad, peace be upon him, it's a full day and night sincere observance of God. Abstaining from all bad deeds and sins day and night as well as the day fast. Even non-Muslims try the challenge of fasting for the health benefits discovered recently. For reasons why Ramadan is a point of change. An estimated 2 billion Muslims worldwide are fasting from dawn till dusk for the month of Ramadan. It isn't only to abstain from food and drink. It is considered a point of change. Let's explore how to change in Ramadan. Here we will learn the following. 1. If you can do it, you can do anything. 2. Changed by the Quran in the month of the Quran. 3. Awaken your awareness of your Creator. 4. Give the needy and thank Allah. 1. If you can do it, you can do anything. In Ramadan, you're over your desires for 30 days, you're over your addiction for 30 days, and you're over your body's needs for 30 days. Fasting strengthens self-confidence because you see yourself acting in the way you intended. When you learn to control eating and drinking, even abstain from them, you develop the ability to control what's less essential. Anyone who's living for a goal faces hardships and challenges and may stop in the middle of the way saying, I can't. Fasting increases self-control. It's a message saying, you can. It's simple, overcoming those challenges is a piece of cake. The real problem is in the mindset. If you can resist desires, you can overcome challenges. 2. Changed by the Quran in the month of the Quran. Fasting reduces your distractions, consequently softens the heart and makes it more receptive, so you can understand, feel and respond to the commands of the Quran. Ramadan is when Allah, the creator of heavens and earth, revealed the Quran. So, there is a pearl of divine wisdom in linking Ramadan with the Quran. The month of Ramadan is that, in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for the people and clear proofs of guidance and criterion. Quran.com 2185 the Quran was first revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on the night of decree in the month of Ramadan. Allah revealed it as a guidance for people, with clear proofs of its guidance, and the criterion between the truth and falsehood. Al-Baqarah, 185 Muslims study the Quran to take advantage of the noble time during this month, but the Quran is a guide for all humanity, the Muslim and the non-Muslim. Really, Quran is the most glorious book. It's an important cause to change one's life for the better. Read it, it's where you find the change you need, Quran.com. Is there a reference for studying the Quran in Ramadan? Yes. During Ramadan, Jibril, I.e. the Holy Spirit, used to visit Prophet Muhammad every night and revise the Quran with him. Great benefits come from following the Prophet and studying the Quran with an open heart, focus, and fewer distractions. You get more out of it when you give it more of you. 3. Awaken your awareness of your Creator. 
Many criminals hide in order to do their crimes. We also may hide from people to commit sins. But, what about Allah, the watchful? Fasting reminds us that Allah is always watching over us. One who is hungry and thirsty can hide to eat or drink, but because he knows that Allah is with him and sees him, he doesn't. Allah is his witness. This acts like an alarm to awaken our awareness of Allah. Thus, we refrain from bad deeds, neither out of fear for the state laws nor people, but out of fear of the watchful. Allah, the watchful sees you even if others do not. 4. Give the needy and thank Allah. Ramadan is also a month of charity. Feeding the poor and needy is highly recommended during Ramadan. And while living their struggle you break the walls of stinginess. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was the most generous of all the people, and he used to become more generous in Ramadan when Jibreel, I.e. the Holy Spirit, met him. Jibreel used to meet him every night during Ramadan to revise the Quran with him. Allah's Messenger then used to be more generous than the wind, bringing clouds. Bukhari Ramadan reduces the gap between the rich and the poor on an annual basis, which makes a better community. There's even an obligatory charity that one has to give to the poor before the end of Ramadan. It's called Zakat al-Fitr. No one should be hungry at the end of the blessed month. When we give we also thank. We thank Allah for providing for us and giving us countless blessings. Remember, the one who created you gave you all what you have. So thank him.